The bridge collapse in Baltimore has sparked renewed fears that some people have about crossing bridges. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl joins us with more on the phobia and an escort on one local bridge. That's right. We found that for you guys. You know, just like some people have a fear of being in a closed space, claustrophobia, doctors say being afraid to cross a bridge might be irrational, but it's still very real. Mm, my fears have just gotten worse. Just looking at that bridge gives me anxiety. TikTok is filled with people talking about fears of going over large spans. Over that bridge will give you a nosebleed because you're so high up in the air. Technically, it's called jephyrophobia, an inordinate fear of bridges, especially crossing bridges. Mix that with agrophobia, the fear of heights, and crossing big bridges can be a terrifying experience for some. For people who are fearful, the Delaware River and Bay Authority has a special escort program. You call ahead and meet on the side of the road before crossing the bridge. So you talk to people and try to ease their fears as you're driving? We do. Yeah, it's always better to keep the conversation going and that distracts them from, you know, their fear. Sergeant Steve Burkhead with the Delaware River Authority showed us how it works. It's a cool part of our job because it's a casual conversation we get to have with the public. He's in the driver's seat of our car going across the Delaware Memorial Bridge. Uh, I usually tell people to just focus on the road. It's the same road in front of you as you get out back on the highway once you cross the bridge. So just focus on the road and you'll be okay. He says people have all kinds of explanations for their fears. And while most people are fine, the officers never know who they're dealing with. Yeah, it's a little dangerous, but we, we do it. Oh, just because we don't know what we're walking into. You know, we, we're definitely cautious of that, and we kind of have to read the body language a little bit. And now they're expecting to get more requests for escorts after the bridge collapse in Baltimore. And doctors say most people are able to cope with their fear of bridges without extra help by slowing down. Some even roll down windows just in case they end up in the water in their car. We have a lot more information on the Delaware Bridge Escort Service, cbsphiladelphia.com, and that is a service that is for free. The sergeant told us you should hear the stories that people mm, have about their fear that he gets to know them as they're crossing the bridge. It's a thing. It's a real thing. But it's a nice thing that they do there. Indeed, that's great.